YouTube if you subscribe and everybody in the remaining social network. It's Six Dark King. And, uh, well, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the map, this is possibly the most defensible map I have ever played. And to prove that, this is the second, well, map per se, and I am at day 89. So, in a couple of days, the Infected will launch their final assault. And I'm here to show you how it goes, and find out how it goes, because, you know, I'm playing it. Anyway, the point is, this is by far the most defensible map that I have ever played. And the best part is, I can't get to half of it, as you can see. This part is blocked by a forest, and this by what is the lake. So, I quite literally can't get here. I mean, the effect can go outside the map and get to me, but, uh, well, that's probably a just-in-case that the devs put in there for these kind of situations. Because it would be interesting to have them stuck. If I had to guess, I'd say that happened a couple of times during development. Anyway, the abridged version is, I started here, started to build my city, however, there was a problem. See where these houses are? There were massive infected here, here, and here. And I almost lost midway through, where a rogue infected, you know, one of those sneaky ones, infected uh, all of these houses. I had to go to clear out to the entire colony, just barely hurrying on to the command center, and then rebuild everything. Fortunately, like I said, stupidly defensible map. I mean, this is just ridiculous. All the numerous way entry points that they would usually have, they're out of the pic they're out of the picture now. They can only come from here, down here, or here. Up here is a lake, so they can't touch me. And as you can see, I got plenty of time to build up my forces. Also, these towers. There was, uh, there was one here which actually saved me, and there was one here which I sold, because I wasn't gonna use it. So, yeah. Right now I'm just waiting a bit and building up... Um, the, uh, the last of the defenses. Also, in those cases where you can't put walls, put towers. It's my advice to you. Because they're, well, more effective than walls, and, you know, can't fill up the spaces where there are too many walls. And the best part is, they don't take uh, money. They do. You know, they don't require keep. So yeah, I need more power. And yeah, fortunately money is something I really don't lack. Well, I am lacking right now, but not because of it, not like that. As you can see, every single one of these houses is of stone. It started here and expanded here. Since I couldn't get the rest of the map, and I decided not to go here, this is pure research, not research, resource, productions, uh, site. So, let's see, eight tentas and seven snipers, three, five, nine, eight, five, three, four, nine. Yeah, these are, I think I can spare you to go there. A couple more. And seriously, do not be afraid to spam units as much as you can. It will pay off. And here they come! Oh, come on! There was no panic! Ah. The building completely overshadowed that. There was no screaming. Come on, I wanted to hear the soldier in fear that we're all going to die and become zombie chow. <laughs> I 
Oh well, not such luck. Right now I need more executors. So yeah, this shouldn't be a problem at all. These ones are just in case. But I really don't expect them to break through in any way, shape or form. Six hours and count for the final wave of the second map in a colony of 3,358 people. Okay, man, you know what to say. Your families are counting on you. Here they come. So that's what the map looks like. I mean, quite literally, I had absolutely no way to come here. And now I'm, I'm wondering how do they get here? Oh, yeah, as you can see, I couldn't get through here. But yeah, that was the thing. I would have destroyed this if I could get there. So. Okay, need a couple more before they actually start ramming in. Uh, a couple on the second. Egg and line. Won't go miss. Okay, good, they're coming. Tanitas! Everybody! You know your job! Carry it out! Oh, frack. Okay, so it begins. Okay, good. Good, good. So far, so good. Okay, Tenetas. Re relocate there. You, upgrade. Let's see, who else? You. Okay, that's good. Okay, you. I want a second line there. And you guys go here. Okay, good. So far, so good. The Stantas are doing the job. Good, good. Okay, they're holding there. Oh, the radar tower is gonna die. Frack. Okay, this zone is held easily. This one's almost dead. Well, the tenters aren't in range because of the ridiculous amount of turrets I built. That's actually a good problem to have, if I'm being honest here. Okay. <laughs> there is no zombie here. They're all going through here. As you can see, they're going up the map. So this is going to be the most problematic area. Here's held. Everybody, go. Okay, good. Excellent. And that colony is under attack is probably... No, it's just the turrets. Okay, good. Done. Now, yeah, that's the oil thingy I put there, and the tower. Okay, so they still haven't reached the tenant, the rest of the tenant, and there is no flying one. They're just going through here. I mean, seriously, this is must. This is the best map I've ever played on. Okay, I need second. Okay, that's done, so I don't need you, nor you, nor you. Iron, what of course. Okay, market, take my all, take all but a hundred, and give me plenty of iron. Okay, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, that would be terrifying. Okay, the Tenetas, 720. Okay, most of you... 
Okay, nine Tanatas, just in bloody case. Okay, this one seems to be hit. They're coming in far too, too thin a line. Okay, good, I can repair. Come on, you're not gonna die of... I'm not gonna die because of this. Keep firing! Come on, come on, where's the next one? Okay. All of you, move your asses. Okay, they're coming in range. Come on, come on, come on. Upgrade. Okay, this area seems to be good. I can upgrade, upgrade, repair. Okay, excellent. Okay, the heavy hitters have mostly been dealt with. And I can repair those. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Okay, come on, the repairs are almost done. After that, I'll, I will be able to keep uh, on my digging and have it again. Okay, good. They're done. That's all they had on this side, so only one left. Okay, good. Everybody! I don't think it's gonna be necessary, but everybody here. I think that's it! Woo! Victory! <sighs> yeah. That's what I meant. I almost lost midway. It was around day 30. They infected uh, one of the tents and, well, you know what it, how it goes from there. Whew, I managed to salvage the campaign, the campaign, the run, quite well. Man, that was by far the most offensive map, still. <sighs> it was a bit hairy on this side, just for a bit. Fortunately, do dozens of Cypress and Tanitas, plus a, a stupidly reinforced wall, and an excellent, extremely defensible map, nothing can handle. <sighs> and I only lost three soldiers. Yeah, there was a couple uh, during the cleansing of the city. Yeah, the city was almost dead once the third wave, uh, one of the smaller ones, but still the third wave came in, so I lost a couple snipers and rangers due to that. Anyway, people, that's what the second, the final wave of the second map in the best, best and most defensible map that I have ever played looks like. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and, well, you know the drill. Until then, I'll see you around. Ta-ta!